Hi, Super Spruce here, back on our answer and mentions new game minus minus video, episode 43. And I've done all the attorney challenges. Last episode, I'm gonna get study 181 and get all the galaxy upgrades, and let's see how many eternity points I'll be able to get with this build. Especially if I start holding R down. Um, it's actually not that much more than I had before, which is surprising. I remember last time I um, I used Idle Path and that actually gave me a big eternity point multiplier. It's probably because of you gain more eternity points based on time spent this eternity, and that's yeah, that's probably the only reason why. So I'm thinking if I do want to push eternity points, I could use the active or I could try the idle to see if the idle will work better. Like it definitely could work better, and, and I wouldn't need to be leaving the computer on to grind eternities. So I'm, I'm thinking what I can do here. Um, I, I, I Or I could, if I really want to like really actively grind eternity points, just just... Just like spam E so this multiplier here can be a little bit better, but uh, it's, it's it's not going to be any more than one times, no, no matter how much I try. So I'll just use idle path and see how powerful the idle path could be. It can be actually extremely powerful, so it's definitely worth a try. Like, actually, even actively, it's, it gives better eternity points. Again, probably the tank, the same time study. Even the, even if it's only, like, a three times multiplier, that's still like, like going to be a three times multiplier to eternity point gain. So, yeah, this is definitely the optimal build for this. But I'm starting to get nervous that it's going to be slow again. Because, like, even if I'm, like, even if I this gets to, like, 100 times and I get like E62 eternity points, that's actually not going to really do much. It'll give me like 10 time theorems and a few of these, and that's about it. That's almost nothing. So I'm, I feel like I'm starting to get stuck again. So I'm not really sure what I should do. But any, anyway, um, that that's for later. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later with disappointing results. It's only 7 E61 eternity points. I thought it was going to be a little more than that. I mean, I guess I can get one time theorem here. So I'm at 69. Nice. But it really isn't all that good because I'm going to be able to get this. It'll allow me to get one eternity point multiplier. I guess that means if I wait another day, I can get another multiplier at E62. I can also get a few more time dimension stuff, but that's about it. I mean, I guess I can get a few time theorems, but all that is, yeah, it's not really gonna do all that much. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait another day. I'm at 76 time theorems, so that's a total of 8 time theorems. And at this point, 8 time theorems, a single digit number of time theorems is insignificant, because I'm essentially gonna try to eventually get to Attorney Challenge 9 first time, and then eventually Eternity Challenge 10 first time. I think actually what's happening here is that I've heard that New Game Minus Minus is only balanced to Eternity Challenge 9 first time. So, yeah, I may just need to wait for some more balancing. So, this series may be put on hiatus because of this. So, yeah, in, in, I, I guess that'll make room for other series because right now I have so many series going at once that it's just hard to juggle them all. And also, of course, there's the one from the incremental tournament poll that, and, and yeah, that's going to be a, a large series. And I, I, I hope I hope it's going to do very well. But anyway, I'm now just rambling about my YouTube channel instead of this game. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later and I can only get E63 eternity points. It's not enough for this upgrade here. I can get one time theorem, but that doesn't really matter. I did notice, however... I can get 750 orders of magnitude of galaxy points if I galactic sacrifice. And I should galactic sacrifice, not infinity, because if I infinity, I'll lose, like, these multipliers and I'll lose my replicated galaxies, which take quite a while quite a while to get back. Well, galactic sacrificing doesn't reset any of that. It will just reset galaxies and dimension boosts. So, yeah, this should actually help. Yeah, just galactic sacrificing... It barely resets anything. Like it doesn't even seem like it resets my replicated galaxies. 
yet I can I can actually get a ton from it. I can get E65 eternity points. E66 eternity points. So I can't believe just how simple it is to get all this. And somehow I must have gotten something because I can get E14,000 galaxy points. I have no idea. Maybe it's just based on antimatter because I just crossed E2 million antimatter. But anyway, I'm not complaining because this is going to allow me to really progress. I didn't notice how there is such a simple way I could make massive progression. It's because the galaxy upgrades are just, they're just too OP. Like this, this upgrade here is E5.6 million. That is like the antimatter raised to the 2.5. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I am starting to stall out, uh, um, just under E15,000 galaxy points, but that's that's still really that's huge. That's gonna allow me to get a total of over 30 time theorems, which will definitely allow me to get um, study 181 and some of the other eternity challenges. Maybe I'll even be able to get. Uh, I'm I'm not quite there to getting eternity challenge nine. I think I need a total of like with this build, I will need 186 spare time theorems. So right now I have 108. So I'm I'm still a little away from from that, but it's still pretty amazing how just getting some galaxy upgrades can help, or just get it, galactic sacrificing a bunch will help that much. So yeah, E70 eternity point. That is one, two, three, four multipliers. Actually, I just got an achievement that I probably shouldn't even get at this point. It's this one have 540 galaxies without having having any replicated galaxies. It's something you normally get, like, much later. So, it's just, yeah, that's how New Game Minus Minus works. It's the achievements sort of... You sometimes get some achievements before others, just because... And even with all the Eternity Point multipliers, it doesn't really look like I'm going to be able to get much more Eternity Points. Like, maybe I can get some of these Time Dimensions, but I, I don't really think it's going to do all that much. Because, like, each one of these... Gives me maybe like two or three tick speed upgrades, and I'm getting like ten thousand tick speed upgrades. So like even with thirty purchases, I'll get maybe one percent more tick speed upgrades. I mean I guess it counts, but like the tick speed upgrades are pretty weak anyway. Like they divide the tick interval by this much, but it's with dilation nerfs. It's probably more like E8, and then multiply all dimensions by E6. It's probably again with dilation nerfs. It's Probably more like E5, so maybe it's like E13 order, orders, or not E13, these are orders of magnitude. 13 orders of magnitude per tick upgrade, which means, I mean, I guess 30 of these would give something like, like it would give like 100 ticks, tick speed upgrades, which would maybe give me like 1500 orders of magnitude of antimatter if I'm being optimistic. So yeah, that doesn't really do much. I, I still will um, try to buy these wisely. Unspent Eternity Points do almost nothing because this upgrade, um, the Eternity upgrade for it, only affects, it affects Infinity Dimensions, which also have, I think, a multiplier that, like, that doesn't really, yeah, like, this multiplier, it's dilation nerfed, so it, it's not very powerful anyway. I mean, I can just buy max time theorems. That allows me to get 130... I have a total of 138 time theorems, which is enough to do turn to challenge five with study 181. And actually, I'm, I'm noticing that replicated galaxies, I'm not at max, which can definitely help me get a few more eternity points and, and just more galaxy points, which will just help all around the board. So if I can get up to, this is 64 replicated galaxies, this should allow me to get at least like two more of these eternity point multipliers and like especially with the galaxy points it'll get me ever closer to the e25 galaxy point upgrade so all hope is not lost in new game minus minus it really felt like that way but galaxy points are just too op in this mod okay i'm now up to max replicated galaxies and i can galactic sacrifice this should easily give me like 500 orders of magnitude of galaxy points i almost want to try the active path with this because I don't have to wait for like 65 replicated galaxies when I'm only getting one every three and a half seconds because that takes about four minutes. But anyway, I, it looks like I can get E72 eternity points from this and, and actually a, a bunch more time theorems. So 
yeah, all this is definitely going to help. I'm getting closer to 186 where I can um, try Eternity Challenge 9. So E72 Eternity Points will allow me to get two more of these multipliers and a few more Time Dimension multipliers and a few more Time Theorems. And maybe I should um, now try some of the Eternity Challenges again. Like, I, I feel like I should try that. Or maybe I can just do a similar run as before. Actually, it looks like I'm, I'm getting E72 Eternity Points. I only have six or seven Replicated Galaxies. So if I push this all the way out to 65 or whatever it is, Replicated Galaxies, this should allow me to maybe get two more Eternity Point Multipliers yet again. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep continuing this cycle. Last Eternity gave me a total of 10 Time Theorems. Maybe Eternity Challenge 9 will be nice to me. I'm just, I'm really not sure. I, f I feel like this episode, I just want to get these Eternity Points. And then maybe next episode, I can start focusing again on the Eternity Challenges. Because, I mean, some of these have actually done quite a bit. I've done three completions of the first three. Maybe I can even do Eternity Challenge 4 now. Except I was so far off from doing it before that I really don't feel like I should try that one again. Eternity Challenge 8 is still impossible. And, yeah, it's just it's just going to be interesting. Like, I just feel like it just more time theorems. Even though the time studies barely do anything, time the, they may help, especially for ones like Eternity Challenge 5. Having 181 for a lot of these challenges may help. Okay, I'm back up to max replicated galaxies at 65. I'm really close to 66. I feel like just a couple of galactic sacrifices could push me to 66 replicated galaxies. And it looks like I'm barely going to be able to get one eternity point multiplier. So I feel like what I should do is just maybe get this one eternity point multiplier, get the 66th replicated galaxy here. That gives me actually 20, almost 30 order of magnitude of galaxy points. And it's not going to even give me a single time theorem. So I feel like I should just eternity one more time, get the eternity point multiplier, get some of the other stuff like this, and then just do a longer run just, just to try to get as many eternity points as possible and then go back into the eternity challenges next episode. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.